Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about reading company culture. Are you ready? Let's get started. So recently we asked visitors in a past episode to tell us the questions that they'd like me to answer here or things they'd like me to talk about here and uh, well we bribed them and John took the bribe. Here's the question John asked me. John said, he said, Kevin, um, how do you read company culture to see if you're fitting in or not? Well, the first thing I would say to you, John, is if you're self-aware enough to ask the question, you're probably doing okay, but it's still an important and a valuable question. And so um, I, I'm also not sure I'm the right person to answer because I haven't walked into an organization as an employee for 25 years almost. So, however, I do walk into organizations all of the time and have to think about the company culture. So while this may apply to you if you're brand new in an organization or if you are moving to a new part of the organization or even to a new team, I think the questions that I ask myself even though my context is different, might be helpful. So I've got four questions I ask that you might want to ask too. Question number one, how do people communicate here? Uh, what do I mean? I mean, well, how open is the communication? Uh, how direct is the communication? What direction does the communication go? Do people only talk side, sideways and down? Do people, are they able to speak up? to their bosses, what happens there, and also what's what are the modes or the ways that they communicate? Is it all email? Is it all face-to-face? -face? Is phone okay? All of that stuff. How do we communicate around here? And then as another example, like humor. Is humor okay? Is it frowned upon? Is it is it okay? So those are only four things to think about as it relates to communication, but it's one of the areas I'd have you think about. Second question is, who is in charge? Well, is it the person who's based you know, is it, is it this hierarchy? How hierarchical is the organization? Um, are, there, are there people who are in charge who aren't in charge on paper? Are there thought leaders? All of those things, who's in charge is something to think about. And how does that feeling play out in the organization? Third question is, what's important here? What is really important here? Uh, what are the values and the priorities? What's stated and what actually happens? Um, what work is most valued? Is this an organization that's sales driven or is this an organization that's product driven? Is it customer service focused? All of those questions. What's important here? And understanding that will help you figure out how you will fit in. And the fourth question is, what is my role? Well, I mean, what is my role really, right? Is my role, what's, what's written down and what's not? How does that all fit into this? What is my role is one of the questions I'd encourage you to ask. So four questions. Uh, how do people communicate? Who's in charge? What's important here? What's my role? Are the kinds of questions that will help you understand where do you fit and how are you going to work most effectively here? But here's something else I want you to think about that goes beyond what John asked really uh, to the second part of John's question, which is how do I fit in? And the way to fit in is not just to understand how the culture is, but also you need to find a mentor. You need to find someone that will help you navigate those waters. Someone that's in the organization. Someone that knows who to go to. Who knows how to get things done. I'm reminded of the movie Shawshank Redemption where he says, I'm the guy that can get things around here. And who are those people that can help you navigate, that, can, that you can build a trusting relationship with, that you can get some feedback from about how you're fitting in and all of those things. Those are some things to think about, some questions to ask and some advice to take. Uh, let me summarize part of this episode with today's tweet. Fitting into a company culture starts with understanding what the culture really is. Well, listen, I hope that you found this question and this answer valuable. But if you're continuing to think about how you fit in as a leader in your organization, man, I'd love for you to take a look at this offer that we've put together for leaders just like you. And the link is right here. Take advantage of that. And I hope to see you on the next episode of Remarkable TV.